Hey family, today we want to discuss how Social Security is failing the American people. It's actually happening at a rapid pace and I feel like majority of Americans were let down by the current president, President Biden, considering he made a promise that he would increase the benefits when he got into office. But since then, nothing has been done and he is probably on his way out later this year. I want to show you the dire warning message that is posted directly on the the Social Security's website. I have the details to share with you in just a moment, but before we get started, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel as well as hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Now let's go ahead and start with the video. Starting off, I do want to go ahead and let you guys know what I ended up finding directly on the Social Security Administration's website, and uh, you might actually be shocked. Uh, this is definitely some uh, crucial information in regards to all uh, current and future Social Security recipients, because either way, it is going to affect a lot of Americans. And as you can see right here, we are on the SSA.gov's website, and it says the future financial status of the Social Security program. Uh, this doesn't necessarily sound good, if you will, because it's talking about the future. A lot of people don't want to see that far ahead. They just want to look at what's right in front of them. But a lot of us need to be mindful of what exactly is going on because it could affect you or the amount of money that you receive after retirement. Right here it says that the concepts of solvency, sustainability, and budget impact are common in discussions of Social Security, but are not well understood. Currently, the Social Security Board of Trustees projects program costs to rise by the year of 2035 so that taxes will be enough to pay for only 75% of the scheduled benefits. This increase in cost results from the population aging, not because we are living longer, but because birth rates drop from three to two children per women. Importantly, this particular shortfall is basically stable after 2035. The adjustments to taxes or benefits that offset the effects of the lower birth rate may restore solvency for Social Security program on a sustainable basis for the foreseeable future. Finally, as Treasury debt securities, sort of as the trust fund assets, are redeemed in the future, they will just be replaced with public debt. If trust fund assets are exhausted without reform, benefits will necessarily be lowered with no effect on the budget deficits. Let me repeat that last sentence. It says that uh, the trust funds or the assets are redeemed in the future. They will be just replaced with public debt. We are talking about debt, guys, to the government in regards to Social Security if the trust fund's assets are exhausted without having Social Security reform. The benefits will necessarily be lowered with no effect on the budget deficits. Uh, but anyways, guys, this is a very dire warning message and very concerning because we all have been hearing about the Social Security program or the trust funds is going to run out of money by the year of 2035. But just to be clear, they're saying that uh, the program has enough money to sustain through 2035 and after that they only have enough money for only 75% of those individuals uh, to pay between 2035 through, I believe, 2037. That is very important. You don't hear a lot of people talking about that, but that is exactly what is on the website right now. And I personally would only assume that those numbers are actually going to change as things continue to evolve, if the inflation continues to rise or uh, what, whatever it does within the next five or 10 years or so, I would only assume that these trust fund assets will actually become less than what they initially projected. And like they said, nothing is going to happen in regards to this if there is no reform to the social security program. And I will say that we have been talking about this for a very long time, ever since President Biden was on the campaign trail running to become the next president of the United States. Do you guys recall that where he told the American people that if you elect me, that I will make sure that I increase the social security benefits for all recipients. You guys recall that? I wish I could find the video to replay it for you. But uh, anyways, he said that on the campaign trail, the individual of the American people ended up electing him for president and since then 
he really hasn't done anything at all. He has actually failed uh, the Social Security program as well as the American people. So uh, anyways, that is what we are dealing with right now. And it looks like President Biden might be on his way out the door, uh, considering uh, Trump is doing very well across the country. Uh, but anyways, uh, that is what we have right here. This is a dire warning message sitting directly on the Social Security Administration's website, ssa.gov. And then we have other news that is coming out that is a dire warning message for our recipients as well. Take a look at this particular article right here where it says that Social Security is coming for a bigger chunk of your paycheck. If you already retired, you may still have to pay taxes on your Social Security benefits. And then this article right here says that Social Security recipients could get a hit with a surprise tax bill this year. And this is all because of the record high Social Security increase that they received in 2023. It could create a tax nightmare this year when you file your taxes. And just as a little bit of a side note, before you file your taxes, you might want to wait because they're saying that we could actually pass uh, the child tax credit before it is time for you to file your taxes, which means that you could receive a huge bonus check uh, on your tax return. So uh, anyway, that is just a little bit of a side note. Uh, but anyways, in regards to our social security recipients, they're saying that you could have a huge surprise tax bill when you file your taxes. Uh, but anyways, it says that although Social Security recipients received a cost of living adjustment that is indexed to inflation, the amount of benefits exempted from taxes has remained unchanged for decades. That means that Congress has not done anything to change this program in more than two decades. Guys, they're saying that since 1984, retirees have owed taxes on their benefits if their adjusted gross income, including up to 85% of the Social Security payments, is more than $25,000 if they are single or $32,000 if they are a married couple. Now, individuals earning more than $34,000 and couples earning more than $44,000 can be taxed on up to 85% of their benefits. Now, again, experts say that the ongoing inflation crisis could ultimately push more seniors into higher tax brackets as a result of last year's 8.7% COLA increase, which was the biggest that they have seen since 1981. Well, it increased the average monthly benefit by about $140. Again, that is the increase per month. So uh, anyways, if you look at this particular chart right here, it says that the uh, this is the annual Social Security COLA increases and uh, Social Security beneficiaries are expected to receive 3.2% uh, increase in their payments this year in 2024. But if you look at last year, you can see this huge, uh, huge bar right here on this particular chart, which shows that it was a very significant increase, which is why some retirees may have a huge tax bill. And yes, unfortunately, uh, multiple states require that uh, individuals pay taxes on their Social Security benefits. And then you have other states that don't necessarily do that. And if you take a look at this right here, we are seeing other dire warning messages where individuals are getting direction and warning messages coming directly from the Social Security Administration office saying that they owe them money. Take a look at this article right here, guys, where it says that this particular lady said, I'm scared. Social Security is now demanding $100,000 from her with a disability? Uh, yes, this is a huge concern. This is not the only person, but this is just another example. Uh, Social Security recipients don't have that kind of money sitting in the bank just waiting to be spent. A lot of them are spending and exhausting their benefits that they receive on a monthly basis. Uh, but anyways, this particular individual uh, says that she's worked almost her entire life despite a challenging medical condition, but the payments that she relied on came to an end until uh, the help team got involved. And we were talking about the help team uh, that is on the channel 13 ABC. Uh, some of you might know of this particular station, but anyways, this is in regards to Kalamazoo, Michigan, where Pamela Burpee is someone who values her independence and takes pride in the space she calls home. Uh, she is a 58 year old woman and she was born with a disability uh, and uh, she has been dealing with this for a very long time and she has been receiving disability checks from the Social Security Administration office for a very long time. 
sometime as well. But uh, she said that her disability doesn't define her by any means. It's simply a characteristic of who she is. She also wouldn't let it hold her back from maintaining employment either. Uh, kudos to her for that. But anyway, she is saying that she has worked since she was 16 years old. And so now uh, after back surgery back in 1996, she applied for Social Security Disability Insurance. A year later, she was approved and receiving these benefits ever since 1997. Uh, but unfortunately, now the SSA is calling her and telling her that she owes them money. And because of that, she did not pay the money back. They ended up stopping her monthly benefits altogether. She said in a statement that, look, I had arrangements with Social Security Administration Office for them to deduct $100 out of that monthly amount to it to pay back the $15,000. And then I had those arrangements. And then all of a sudden, she said, they recalculated everything apparently and that's when they decided that she owes over one hundred thousand dollars what a scary moment and you can look at this particular image right here it shows you where uh, they're saying that originally she owes seventy thousand and then fifteen thousand and then eighty four thousand and now the new balance is one hundred thousand dollars can you imagine this this is almost like someone going to college and having student loans can president biden waive these can president biden waive these social security fees that they are asking for it is a huge concern guys that social security administration office is doing these large amounts of clawbacks to random individuals that don't know where this is coming from and this is rather shocking guys i only expect this to actually continue on until they fix the issue altogether but apparently they were the ones that caused this issue and they should be the ones that fix it as well and they should make right to every recipient that they believe that owes them money. It is not the recipient's fault. It is strictly the SSA's fault. Wouldn't you guys agree? If so, comment down below and hit that like button for me. Uh, so anyways, like I said, Social Security is failing right now. It is in trouble. It is in dire need of reform to fix the main concern, which is in regards to uh, the trust funds running out of money. But so far, we still don't have anyone in the White House or anyone or any in administration, any type of legislation, any type of direction from Congress. We have nothing at all in regards to how we can fix this issue moving forward but there might be a savior out there guys we might have uh, what some people are calling a potential superman if you will and that is the potential next president uh, Donald Trump. We recall sometime last year around the June time frame in which we heard from the former president Donald Trump in which he was vowing that he will always protect Social Security. But the biggest question is what does he mean by that? Well, I'll give you a little bit of a snippet in regards to that because what he is referring to is that he will make sure that they do not take away your benefits. But he did not say anything in regards to having Social Security reform. So that can be a little bit tricky. So uh, anyways, he has vowed that uh, the Republicans or the GOP should not do anything to Social Security and they should keep it the way it is. Don't do anything at all. And they could be very smart on his part because he knows that the trust fund is going to run out of money. It is not just necessarily a uh, conspiracy. It is actually uh, the truth. It is going to run out of money. Uh, but anyways, in addition to that, uh, previously Trump had also warned House Republicans not to touch Social Security and not to touch Medicare. So, yes, uh, does this show us that he could have a heart and that he does uh, want to protect these individuals because they rely on this type of benefits every single month, this uh, potential entitlement program? So, uh, anyways, if President Trump or uh, the former President Trump is elected to be the next president of the United States, could he actually do something about it? Could he go ahead and enforce legislation to reform Social Security? I Me mean, personally, I don't think he'll necessarily put that at the forefront as one of his priorities, but he might actually do something in regards to uh, coercing Congress to make the necessary changes to the program. Come on now, we all know it, we all see it. The data is written on the stone. We all can see exactly what is happening to this program. It is failing the American people. It is failing America altogether. And uh, unfortunately, guys, the recipients on the tail end are getting the brunt of it. So uh, anyways, hopefully if Donald Trump is elected, he can uh, do a little bit of his magic and get this thing fixed. That's all we care about. We don't necessarily care about what particular president 
president does it, but we want the next president to do it because we know that the current president has done nothing. Wouldn't you guys agree? Uh, but anyways, like I said, Social Security is failing us. We have got to improve this. But until then, I will suggest that all of you that are still working, that are planning on potentially uh, retiring very soon, you might want to work a little bit longer to save some of that money. So yes, uh, that is not financial advice, but I'm just thinking outside of the, uh, the blue that if you are still able to work, uh, go ahead and work a little bit longer because we don't know when this thing is going to run out of money. So uh, anyways, I will keep you guys posted as usual. But other than that, that is all I have for you today. And I hope all this information in this video was helpful to you today. Well, anyways, that's all we have for you today. But feel free to check out some of the items down below in the description. There are a couple of opportunities that you may enjoy as well as some opportunities for you to earn or save a lot of money. Check out those links down below. But anyways, if you enjoyed today's content and you want to see more, please go ahead, subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. And if you end up liking today's video, then go ahead and hit the like button for us. It really helps out this channel as well as it tells YouTube to share this video with others. But anyways, I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching and I hope to see you on the next video. Peace.